anything that is inside of the system that is denominated in dollars or any other currency wherever you are in the world, but that is denominated in fiat money and can only be converted back into fiat money. Okay, so what's its value when the fiat money, when people recognize, because it's already officially, at, you know, a few pennies. So when it is officially at zero, I mean, what is, what is that fiat money worth? So for me, again, everybody's got to do what they're comfortable with. And I'm not saying that I won't in the future, but at this point, why would I put my money into something that I know 100% because we hear it constantly from the central banks that we need more inflation, right? Now we have the inflation and we knew that this was coming. Uh, why would you buy something if you know that the, the only way that you can convert it is to, into something that has zero value? I wouldn't. So I personally wouldn't. Now, anybody else gets to make their own choices. We're all adults. But that is definitely not a choice that I would personally, that I have personally made. Give me the physical because I hold it. I own it outright. And it runs zero counterparty risk. And in this environment, that's what I want. You definitely need to have the gold and silver over here because additionally, the opportunities that occur during these periods of time, you want to be in a position to take advantage of it. So for me, I'm not, I'm just not a speculator. That's, that's not who I am, you know, and, and that's okay. Everybody gets to do whatever they're comfortable with. So I feel like I can never have too much gold and silver. When they implement wage and price controls, what they're really doing is changing or trying to change the narrative. Their choices are what create part of what create that inflation. And so, yes, they will definitely, I'm certain they're going to implement wage and price controls. They'll probably do price controls before they do the wage controls. But, you know, are wages keeping up with the prices and the current levels of inflation now? Heck no, they're not anyway. But, yes, I think we can absolutely expect that and more. I think we can also expect uh, limitations on foreign exchange or your ability to change your money into other forms as well. I think this is a good year to finish your strategy. And if you haven't started it, get it done. Get it done. Th this is really a very interesting year because 2023 is when they said all of this stuff was supposed to happen. So a rise in gold price is an indication of a failing currency. And, and what I've seen in my very long career, and you've seen it as well, is whenever there's any major news, gold takes a spot gold contracts take a dump because they don't want you to run to the safety of gold. So could that happen, um, you know, in 2023? Boy, it can, but this is the piece that everybody really needs to remember. The spot gold contract is a contract and easy to manipulate because you can buy as many of those contracts for almost no money and control an awful lot of gold. But the real key here is that at the end of the day, when they need to reset the currency, they do it against gold because you need to reset something that has no value against something that is all value, which is fiat money and gold in these hands. So anything can happen between now and when they do that overnight revaluation. Anything can happen. Because the last thing that the central banks or the governments really want anybody to do is to hold their wealth outside of the system where it's harder for them to access and just take away. They want you to volunteer your wealth. So, you know, if you're asking about how it will affect gold, it's going to affect gold tremendously because as soon as it so far goes into a full effect, all of those contracts that were changed from the LIBOR to the SOFR, their valuations change. And so whoever, whatever bank or financial institution are holding those contracts and their stock prices at one level based on, now no prices are really based on anything real, let us face it. But 
at least in theory, based on real valuations, that all changes as soon as these contracts convert from LIBOR to SOFR. Now, the impact on gold, you know, um, remains to be seen. I think this year, and I mean, I don't know, because this is stuff that's way beyond my control, but did I buy some gold today? Mm -hmm. And, you know, it really is all, all about public confidence, right? As long as the public has confidence, then they stay in these products. It's like the bank runs, right? So there is a run to real money, typically, during these kinds of periods. So during skyrocketing hyperinflation, then everybody really gets that the currency is dead, that the currency is losing value very quickly because the prices can double or triple or quadruple in 24 hours or, or whatever that number is going to be. We'll find out then. So um, is there some reason the tamping down of gold will not, con silver and gold will not continue? And the answer is yes, because the markets... The real markets themselves will be driving that price and they will lose control. Now, we, we could be, I'm not going to make this statement purely yet, but if you look at what's happening today in the markets with the interest rates starting to spike, which they've been doing since the first of the year, right, particularly, well, but the Fed doesn't want them to spike. They want to gauge and regulate how they move up in price. So how come they're not doing that? Because the markets can overwhelm them. And that's what will happen during that period as well. And that's what will happen, you know, I mean, the more the, the Fed is talking about raising interest rates. They Now, once they start to raise interest rates, they're going to run off their balance sheet. I mean, they haven't been able to do it before. It's all been a big fat fail, but somehow magically this time is going to be different. Is it going to be different? Probably not. But the markets are warning them because the markets are actually, ha do have the ability to overwhelm the capacity of the Fed. And we've seen this, you know, we've seen it over and over and over again. Money printing makes the real value of gold go up in terms of that fiat. In, in terms of its fundamental value. Correct. Right. But yeah, so it's actually just the opposite. And that's what they don't want you to know. So that still ties back into that other question about the spot prices. Those contracts were created for perception management so that they could control how the public perceives gold and silver. That was the one, and I mean, it's a market force and all of that, but that's really why they were created. $20 bill 10 years ago, same, it looks the same as it might even be exactly the same bill as it is today, but it buys a lot less. It hides the truth.